Okay, so I've gotten this a little bit better in here as far as how I wanted it. Um, what I'm going to need to do is make a couple little changes. Um, I'm going to need some 90 degree connectors and I'm going to have to print some new rails for this radio. So, basically, here's the MFJ. We can't have that. We need 90 degree um, or we need some sort of deal here. Um, we also can't have that sitting in the bottom of the thing like that. So, there, there are a few options. I do have a few options I can do. Um, I can decide to just go with a manual tuner instead. And I honestly think that that would be perfectly fine. So, um, let me show you guys the one that I'm looking at doing. Since I already have it. So you can have that down in there. Now, you could make this to where it all fits in here, and like basically, you just set it up how you want, or you could have it uh, to where like it operates in here. I don't think uh, operating in here is a real great idea for a couple of reasons, because um, for one, the radio is not going to get good ventilation. So, I'm against that for that idea right there, but I think it's kind of a neat little caddy here that I can adjust it, and I have like... Pretty much, this is ready to go, this is ready to grab, you know, um, so, still not quite what I want to do, like, I really just want something simple, this is why I ordered that other radio, but, like, I mean, I really like the extra power, and, um, I don't like operating QRP, so, um, I, I think maybe this this is a good tuner, um, but, you know, anything will fit in here, so, um, you know, maybe it could use that, maybe not, so there's that MFJ paint, again, this stuff's a little bit different, it doesn't have a direction on it, but it's, be nice to figure out how to get this kind of paint, and we could take these things and make them look like they're new. Um, I took this battery too, uh, out of the uh, UPS, um, cause I needed a battery and the UPS battery, uh, this six and the seven amp hour lead acid battery X kind of about the same. So there wasn't any point in it. Um, you would need to put something bigger in there anyway. Um, and it didn't exactly like it. So. <laughs> most of it has to do with the connections on these terminals so I soldered these so this one's ready to go and we're gonna have this just for our little radio um, because we won't need 12 amp hours but we've got this one here and it's ready to rock and roll if it needs to so um, the radio you can pull it out like that it's got my modified rails um, so I, I need to get in there and I want the, the back rails to be, uh, an inch longer to protect the back of it a little bit more. So, um, we'll go ahead and do that. What it will, it will change the footprint of the radio a little bit, uh, to where you can't like lean it like this. It won't, uh, right now it sits on its own little stuff. Um, if you flip out the bale and everything, so... After we do that, it won't do that no more. So, anyway, um, I don't know. But, you know, you can just put this in here and you literally just have everything kind of ready to go. You could have multiple radios in here. I'm, I guarantee you I can watch this. I can do this. <laughs> just for laughs and giggles. Okay. Let's take this off of here, though. I can fit two radios in here. I probably can fit two tuners in here. So the MFJ is a little wide. But in reality, it actually can sit right here. It actually doesn't have to go in down there. Um, but I did actually force it to fit. So look at that. We have another battery. We have another tuner. And a tuner. And a G90. 891.
and it all fits in here. I literally just put it up. Good to go. Got two little handles here. I'd have to put it on the scale. I think we got about 15 pounds here. I don't know. But, like, look at it. I mean, dude. And there's a lot more pockets in this thing. It's got this part on the top here where you can expand it out or you can make it taller. So, actually, you could put, like, the G90 right here if you really wanted to. So, this is why I picked this thing up at Goodwill. So, you know, um, it's a good idea to, to look for this kind of stuff um, at thrift stores and stuff like that. Because, you know, you just never know what the hell you're going to find. I uh, originally bought this because we were thinking of maybe putting, like, a traveling telescope in it. You know, or something like that. Or maybe camera stuff. Because it did have that as a camera caddy. Um, but here's another pouch in here, you know. It's made out of this pretty durable material. You know, it's not like the greatest looking. It's got these goofy little lock things on it. What is it? It's in route. So anyway, um, you got more zippers and a Jansport backpack. Um, and then uh, I forget where the rest of it is. That's oh, right here. So, if that's just too much, you can go ahead and zip this accordion thing down. And now it's smaller. So when you open it up, it'll be small. See? But, you know, it's, uh, it's cool. I don't want to even know how much this would have cost new. And you got side pouches right here, which you could put, you know... All kinds of stuff in there. You probably could put a, a tablet in here. Um, you know, my laptop wouldn't fit in here, but... Um, and then, uh, right, in, right in the front, my laptop would fit, but I think it's asking for trouble, to be honest with you. Uh, you have this area here. There's a hard shell, too, um, to this thing. And then there's another pouch right here. So... Um, you know, these are pretty cool. Um, you could have, uh, you'd put, your, I'd put my antenna in here probably. And um, uh, maybe in here. Um, I honestly think, and then we have this one here. That I think I probably could fit, if I chose to do everything correctly, I could fit the uh, MP1 super antenna. Although, uh, when you have all these tuners and things like that. I think you're maybe better off at that point to go with something um, uh, like a long wire, you know, something that's going to have a little bit more performance and, and just use, you know, the tuner to, to match it up. So, um, anyway, oh, man, it's getting warm in here. Um, so, I think that that's a pretty good idea, you know, for somebody that wants to go portable or just do stuff or just have something that's ready to go. Or we'd like, if there's an emergency or something, you know, I mean, like, what if there was an earthquake? You, you know, you're probably not going to have time to grab it, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but if you live in an area that's surrounded by trees and there's a fire, you can grab this and go. You know, and forget about the other stuff. You're you're not dragging it out with you, you know. <laughs> um, another thing this one might actually work good with, instead of that radio, is maybe to um, mount something... Um, like the uh, FT450 in there, since it's a little bit bigger of a radio and the tuner's already in it, and um, it would probably be better suited to that, maybe. Um, the uh, 891 is more um, what I would prefer to like have, like, uh, <coughs> you know, for backpacking and stuff, you know, G90, same thing. So, anyway... I just thought I'd kind of throw that out there, just uh, show you guys. I'm just kind of, you know, coming up with ideas for different stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to 3D print the longer rails. I just got to get around to uh, pulling up the file and, and um, manipulating it. Um, so uh, we'll catch you guys later.